hi guys welcome back to my channel i am glad to have you here it is your girl dynamite natural all up in your screen and i want to greet all new and returning subscribers thank you so much for sticking by me and um if you're coming to my channel for the first time thank you so much for stopping by thank you for clicking on this video and take a moment there to subscribe down below and also hit the like button if you like my content and also when you subscribe hit the bell button too so that you will be notified anytime i post a new video so let's just get right into it okay so for some time now i've been doing the um beginner's guide to natural hair series here on my channel so if you've missed any videos or uploads check my description box or the i cards above okay so you can stay in check Okay, so today is going to be the episode 6 of the Beginner's Guide to Natural Hair where we'll be talking about hair density. So what exactly is hair density? Hair density is how voluminous your hair is, how thick your hair is, you know, the amount of hair you have on your head. So if you're one of those wondering, I want to have thick hair or why don't I have thick hair or you know, those kind of questions or how what can I do to make my hair thick? This video is for you. So I want you to know that there are three types of hair density. There is low hair density, medium hair density, and high hair density. Low density is when you do not have a lot of hair on your head. You, it's just very natural. It's genetics basically you do not have a lot of hair on your head then your low density medium density is somewhere in the middle and high density is where you have a lot of strands on your head now bear in mind that you can have low density as a result of damage to your hair such as relaxers and all of that but it can also be natural for you to just have you know not much hair on your head the situation where you don't have a lot of hair on your head it's very very natural so how do you find out if you have low density or high density the first thing is that you should have you should be your hair should be in its natural state like your hair should be natural it should not be relaxed or anything like that so that you can actually know if your density is as a result of chemical damage or it's just natural the way it is okay so how do you find out if you have or what kind of density you know you have so the thing is to stand in front of a mirror and then take down your hair let down your hair take down your hair band take down your twists or whatever style you have your hair in and let it fall naturally if your low density you can see your scalp without any effort you just do not have a lot of strands on your head if you're medium you can see your scalp but with an effort you have to make an effort to see your scalp but if you do not see your scalp at all even when you move your head it means you have high density you have a lot of hair so i'm going to give you tips on how to take care of your hair depending on your density to help you maximize you know your hair so let's get right into it the first thing is low density how can you take care of low density as I already said low density if you have low density hair it means you do not have a lot of hair on your head so how do you take care of it the thing is you should not use heavy products you should avoid heavy products because you don't have a lot of hair on your head so if you use a lot of product on your head it's going to weigh down your hair and make your hair look flat or make your depending on your curl pattern it can make your hair flat or makes your hair look small like it brings your hair together like it makes your hair very look very small as a result your hair does not look as voluminous it looks small 
then you have to avoid heavy products too that will wear down your hair and limit volume the next thing you want to do is you have to limit the amount of products you use use little products at a time so that you do not have like i said weighed down here when your hair is weighed down it makes your hair look small and sparse and then your hair will not look as voluminous as you want okay so and it's actually a very good thing actually it's it has its benefits if you have low density hair it means that your product will last longer you won't you won't need to buy a bottle of conditioner every freaking month okay so that is it and the third thing is you want to use mousse when you're styling your hair when you use mousse on your hair it will make your hair appear fuller and the next thing you want to do is use volumizing shampoos and conditioners because they have thickening agents which will make your hair to appear thick and another tip is when you are when you have low density hair you're going to have to use pick or combs to pick out your hair and give your hair a little more volume when you do your styles that is going to have you to make your hair to appear a little bit fuller you're going to have to allow your hair to have a little bit of frizz and stay away from ultimate or ultra curl definition because it's going to make your hair look very small and make your hair less voluminous okay so you're going to allow your hair to have a little bit of frizz that will help with definition i mean that will help with volume I mean. and the next thing i want to say here is for medium density if you have medium density your hair is just balanced it's in the middle and you can use a variety of products styles and cuts to enhance your texture so you basically figure out which you know cuts will enhance your your texture and go for it and you can use mousse if you want more volume and you can use heavier creams and gels for hang time if you if you want hang time or you don't know what hang time is hang time is when your hair is weighed down so using heavier creams and gels and butters will help your hair to you know hang down and for medium textures or medium density hair it actually helps to enhance your hair it helps to enhance your textures now for the next thing is high density if you have high density hair it's a good thing you have a lot of volume to work with but it has its disadvantages as well if you have a lot of hair on your head it means that your hair is more prone to tangles so you are going to have to maximize you know your product you're going to have to use heavier butters and gels to clump your curls together clumping means when three of i mean <laughs> clumping means when your or many hair strands stick or yeah stick together and form one clump of a curl okay so if you if your hair is clumped together it has a lesser chance of tangling together than if your hair was going every which way okay so when your hair is clumped together as one curl it has a lesser chance of tangling up so you're going to have to use heavier products to help your curls clump together and reduce frizz and of course you can always embrace your volume with full body styles the next thing is wash out for tangles like i said and detangle properly with a lot of conditioner so when you're detangling your hair make sure you use a lot of conditioner so that so and another thing i want you to know is you can always have different um volumes in different parts of your hair for me for instance i have medium density at the back and then a lot of hair in front so you can for me for instance i have medium to high so you can have things that's medium to high density you can have low to medium density so it depends okay so that is all for today 
thank you so much for watching i hope this video helped you leave a comment down below where do you fall are you high density low density are you medium so let me know i hope you like this video hit give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe and um i will see you in my next video bye